My name is Andre Trenier. I'm an artist born and raised here in the Bronx. I think I've always been an artist. I, I was the little kid in class that always drew characters, cartoons and stuff and started doing my first illustrations I guess during college and right afterwards things started to take off and years after that I started getting into doing custom sneakers and clothing and the mural thing started a little while after that. The custom sneakers led into the murals almost directly because it was kind of my knee-jerk reaction to doing everything this big wanting to just expand and get my whole body into doing the pieces. The first one I did was Roberto Clemente. Um, it all got started with um, Carrie Goodman and the 161st Street bid. They reached out to me to initially just to do um, Roberto Clemente. And then they liked the Roberto Clemente so much that things just took off. They asked me to come back and do Satchel Paige. Then that led to Mickey Mantle then A-Rod, then Thurman Munson and uh, DiMaggio. I was honored to do Roberto Clemente. I mean, I'd always loved Roberto Clemente as a player and just as a humanitarian. They really wanted to make sure I got the number 21 in there because uh, there's been a whole campaign to have his number retired. I, I wanted to make sure people saw it. Knowing that a lot of people are influenced by somebody drives me to do a better job with the portrait. I mean, not that I ever don't want to do a good job, but when it's somebody like Thurman Munson or like Roberto Clemente or even Satchel Paige, like I, I feel an extra, you know, like I need to put that much more into it. The ones on the bigger gates are easier. It gives you a lot more room to get in and, and, and detail out a face and get the likeness right. With the smaller ones, um, it's a little more difficult. It's not really difficult or intimidating as, as it might be. But I enjoy all of it. It's, it feels a lot better when, when other people love it. It's great to be able to do somebody that has already touched people's lives because there's a, there's a built-in audience for it and you get to kind of you know, give people a way to remember them and a way to re-experience that person. Sometimes when there's a home game, I'll walk by or just kind of hang out by the murals and watch people's responses to them watch people taking selfies next to them, and it feels good. More fun to be anonymous and just get people's honest, you know, honest reactions. For the most part, they've each happened in a day. I think Thurman Munson was actually the, the fastest one. I was really looking forward to doing the mustache and the hair on Munson. I, I, I couldn't wait. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna get this mustache just right. Honestly, I, I think he's the best, the best one. It's between, for me, it's between him and uh, Roberto Clemente. DiMaggio was, um, you know, he, he was another Yankee that I always, like, his name always rang out to me, and I felt, I felt really honored that I was going to get to paint him. Hey Rod, um, it, yeah, that was an interesting one. This is the smallest gate, I think. This one and the Pope one are both fairly tiny, so there was a lot to fit in. I was a little nervous about that, but it, you know, it all worked out. One of the things Carrie Goodman wanted to make sure I got the green eyes in there, so A-Rod had to be in color. That's what all the ladies like fell in love with A-Rod for. I had to get the green eyes right, so. I heard he liked it though. Man, I said we should fill up every gate out here, but it's kind of who, who they decide. I would love to paint any and every gate around here. I'd love to paint on the side of Yankee Stadium if they let me.